list with Maddie and Renee chilling in the studio, sitting on the desk with us tonight. It's yeah. Jason Mraz. Yes. Right, what's up? Hey, hey, all the way from San Diego. All the way. Mm, San Diego is a great place. It's a super place. Now, you started playing guitar when you were 18, is that yes, true? Yes, That's is. like in the music industry, it's sort of pretty late these yeah, days. Yeah, it is pretty late. But, you know, I, I'd always love singing and making up songs and... I found the guitar was a perfect companion as I started to travel around and become a drifter and a slacker sleeping on people's couches and and uh, every time, I don't know, I just, I, I never could put it down after that, you know, every time I learned a new chord it gave me a new reason to write a new song and I uh, eventually figured out how to trade that in for uh, a mortgage payment. That yeah. is cool. <laughs> the biggest question, which I find everyone's been asking in some of the interviews I've seen while you've been over here, is obviously about the avocado farm. Indeed. People have been asking about it. How many times have you been asked about your avocado farm while you've been here? Uh, I don't mind talking about my avocados. I don't. <laughs> you know, the Aztecs originally called it ahuacate, Ooh. which is the same word they use for testicle. <laughs> and... Because perhaps they not only enjoyed fondling their ahuacate, but it was the best food a man can eat. And to this day, it still holds true. It's good for your testosterone levels. It's a great kind of fat. Your brain loves it, full of magnesium and proteins. So, oh, see, look, you've just sold me. Now I want to buy your avocados. You do. <laughs> yeah. So is the, do you think there is a different taste between avocados in Australia and ones in San Diego? Um, yeah, I think so. At least the ones I had this morning were, mm-hmm. were nice and creamy and... And it tastes like there was already butter put on them. Ooh. Know, it was, it was they didn't, nice. didn't mm. taste like testicles. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've had fresh <laughs> testicle. Well, <laughs> funny that you should say that, Jason, because I read on the internet, tell me whether it's true or not, that uh, you sort of had like a relationship with uh, one of your gay best friends that went on for like three months or whatever and, and you were sort of huh. hanging out here and then you kind of realise, oh my God, we're in a relationship. Was that was that true? It, it, yes. Thank you for finding that <laughs> piece of information. Sorry, I had to wow. ask. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, it was, uh, gosh, it was probably eight years ago, nine years ago now. Mm-hmm. Uh, just palling around with a guy. You know, you, you just find a guy, you, you know, you're bonding, you're doing adventures, you're going out, you're having a good time and, you know, and... Uh, This is at the time where I I was completely slacking. I really wanted my music to be the main thing I was doing. And and this guy was letting me sleep over. He let me use his car from time to time. And then, you know, it was Valentine's Day. And I didn't have a girlfriend. And he was like, why don't we just go to dinner? I'm like, fine, you know. I'm sitting there at dinner. (laughs) And I'm looking around. And it was a really nice restaurant, you know. And that's when it occurred to me. It's like, oh, my God. I am dating this guy. (laughs) This dude loves me. I mean, it is. You like you. You say, "Hey, when do you want to see each other again?" Hey, call me tomorrow. Let's go out. Yeah, let's do it. You know, where you're setting up appointments again and again and again. Mm-hmm. And you know, it it was fine with me because you know I I'm I'm open in that mm-hmm. way. But about three weeks later, I decided to move to California. And that night, he cornered me and put his tongue in my mouth. <laughs> And Whoa! That was the turning point that now, was, wasn't it? it? It was a turning point. It was like, you know what? I, I, I hope I didn't send the wrong signal, but, you know, this isn't what I was looking for. And it was wild. It was yeah. wild. Well, it was do you guys experience? Still, do you still talk? No, no. I moved to California, and, and that was it. It's, and you found it a sexy Californian sad. chick, right? I do, mm. yeah. I heard about her. Beautiful little surfer girl that I just adore. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, we are loving the brand new album. We sing, we dance, we steal things. The first single off it, I'm yours. Uh, there's a guitar in here. You happy to play for us? It is. In fact, I'm going to play it on my ukulele. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, the guitar. Yeah. I'm not very learned. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Jason Rice, thank you so much for hanging out tonight, man. Thanks Woo-hoo. for talking. <laughs>